To set up a pitfall trap, you need two containers the same size with lids. One of the containers lids is cut out one centimeter in from the little groove and that is then placed over the two containers fitted together. Over the top of that goes the complete lid. You dig a hole that is level with the ground. That container then goes into that and the soil is brought back around the, pit, the containers and firmed down. Lift off the complete lid, exposing the pitfall trap. You then fill the little groove with soil. Then you add a preservative and a label to your pitfall trap. And that preservative could be metho, ethanol, or water with a drop of detergent if you're using a short-term trap that is up to a couple of days. You need the pitfall trap to be in at least overnight, preferably two nights. If you're using a much longer term trap, then you might use propylene glycol because it doesn't evaporate. After that, you need to put a roof on to prevent vertebrates from getting into your trap. You don't need to use the roofing material that we are using at the moment. You could use um, a meat tray, the polystyrene meat trays with the ends cut off. It's basically the same shape and peg that down over the top of your pitfall trap. When it comes to taking the, t the sample, you come back to your trap and you take the roof off and very carefully you lift the containers up even more carefully you take the lid off so that you don't get dirt inside you then add a label that you may have written already with today's date on it you sieve your sample using a very fine meshed sieve because a lot of invertebrates are very small. Wash out any soil at this stage and you can remove any large sticks or leaves. Bang your sample back into a container. Add preservative and your sample back into a vial. Get all of the sample, even the bits of dirt, because there may be very small invertebrates caught in there. There you have a sample. It should have two labels in it, the day you set it up and the day that you take it out.